Statistics show half of all children with autism will wander. For them, it means going on a mission, climbing fences, running to get to their goal. KBC News Keisha Henry is live at one of their favorite places to go. Keisha. Lynn, for children with autism, this is absolutely beautiful. The way the sun or the moonlight shines off of the water is sparkly and it's shiny. But unfortunately, this is also the unfortunate reason that statistics show 91% of deaths of children with autism are caused by drowning. I didn't know that my child could pull a chair up and pick a walk and lock and run out of the house. You Jennifer Smith is a mother of two children on the spectrum. She knows firsthand children with autism love water. When they get in the water, it's like a big hug and it wraps around them and it can relax them and, and help with some of those sensory issues that they might have. Smith says it's important for families to come up with a plan to protect your children inside of the home and out, which also means getting your neighbors and the community involved. Look what bodies of water are around you. Google map your home. You may not know the neighbor three doors down has a pond or a pool or a hot tub. If you go to a pool, she also recommends notifying the lifeguards. And better yet, teach your kids how to swim. We bring our hands out of the water. And survive if they ever fall in. The YMCA of Greater KC now has a special one on one swimming program for children and adults with autism. If you get in a situation, how to float, how to blow bubbles, don't suck it in, blow it out. I just recently had a parent email me a testimonial that she now feels that if her son were to fall in the water, she is confident that he would be able to get himself back to the wall. Now, the YMCA program also has a parent education component to help teach things like how to travel on vacation safely or what to do if one of your neighbors installs a pool in the neighborhood. Now, they also have a separate swimming program for children and adults with other special needs. You can contact your local YMCA for more details on both of those programs. Reporting live in KC Mo, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News. Some life saving information. We listed some free safety resources for children with autism and special needs on our website at KMBC.com. That includes a plan to bring your loved ones back home safe if they ever wander.